Hello, YouTube. I've got mail. Um, yeah, I mean, ordered this all last year, so it all came on the same day, January 2nd. I got a big Amazon box here, and two things from eBay. Uh, this one, I believe it's a very small thing that I ordered for a friend, so I'm going to put that off to the side. But, uh, you know what, where's my, there he is. I'm just going to go into the, well, the white one first, we'll go into the small one. And we'll get the whole Amazon order thing. Uh, let's see. Here we go, pull tab. Eh. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of bubble wrap in there. Some bubble wrap. So, layer one, layer two. There we go. Aha! The last Clone Wars 2 pack that I needed with this, uh, Clone Trooper, and it happened to be packed with the shoulder variant of the Arc Trooper. You can see the shoulder there is gray, and the rest of them is blue. So that's cool. Those are definitely nice. Oops, set those over here. Amazing. And let's see, Amazon. I ordered a lot of stuff from Amazon. And it all came out to about $37, so that's pretty cool. And I got another package coming pretty soon of more from eBay. Man, the mailman did set this box down in the snow, so that wasn't very nice of him. But it doesn't look like anything was damaged. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of uh, bubble packing material. So let's pull this all out. Ah. I'm just going to hover over it real quick. See a whole F ton of black series. And so we'll get into it. Uh, first, we got one, two, three biker scouts. All for, I think it was like $3 a piece. Would have been four that I got, but you know what? You can only order three at a time. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. Got a Biggs. I only ordered them because I needed to make the order uh, just uh, up to thirty-five dollars for shipping. So he was three bucks. So pretty cool. I guess I can add them to my shelf. And then I got a Clone Trooper Sergeant. And the package is a little bent up, but that's okay because I'm opening all of these. So pretty wicked. And we'll go down to the last single carded figure, which is a little busted up itself. Good thing I'm opening it. Vintage Collection Prune Face. Uh, he was part of the last wave, so I was never able to get him in, in stores. Not that it would have mattered if he did come out in stores, given all the Phantom Menace stuff. Still pretty cool. Glad to pick him up. Set him up here. And these were five and like six dollars a piece. First is the exclusive Droid Factory set, or the Droid set three pack here with these three. So pretty cool. I mean it was five bucks so good deal. And then really only for one figure out of this that I wanted the villain set which was a Target exclusive as we can see there. Thank you Amazon. And we got a Snaggletooth, Boba, and Sand People. So I'm just gonna quickly open this last Hello one. YouTube. Today I got the uh, second part of my haul here. Uh, the original video that you just saw was from January 2nd, and today is now January 24th. And I just haven't had time to upload anything. And so, here's some stuff I've gotten since then, with the money from Christmas. So let's see here. Uh, first, I'll do what I got on eBay. Uh, got another Clone Spurter Sergeant from the Black Series. So that's cool, I got him to go with the other one that I got. Um, and one that I'm most proud of, that maybe I overpaid for, maybe I didn't, uh, was the the Clone Wars version of, from the Arc Troopers Battle Pack of Fordo from the original Clone Wars. Pretty cool. And so recently at a 
half price bookstore. I picked up these two, which are really just one from the Revenge of the Sith line. It's really, really burned up Vader. Removable legs and everything. And then his arms and head are interchangeable with this, which is just a piece of plastic inside holding that all together. But we can pretend that's two figures. And the last two figures I got, I'm pretty proud I found. The Mission Series Mandalore pack, which, you know, Obi-Wan isn't the best, but he does look pretty cool. And then Darth Maul, it's absolutely phenomenal. Even lacking in articulation, he does... See, he is very awesome. I like the robot legs on there, and the suit, suit all around, and really good figure. So that's all the figures i gotten since then. And then I did get a couple of books. Got Pawnee, The Greatest Town in America. Uh, written, compiled, research type, collated, proofread, and run through spell check by Leslie Nope, Deputy Director, Parks and Recreation. And another book. Heroes in the Night. Inside the Real Life Superhero Movement. And there is a huge movement by uh, people who dress up as superheroes and patrol the streets, hand out food to homeless, you know, heroic stuff. That's really good. I just finished that up. So, good haul. Uh, that's all I got today, so may the force be with you, and I hope you enjoyed.